Alright, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you canopies, and then I'm going to show you how to make canopies using my super easy component. You don't have to use a component, but if you do, it's super easy! Let's get started. Alright, so this is the test bed. This is where I want to build the canopies and show you how to make them. This one is special. It's something I discovered today when I was recording the tutorial earlier and the sound didn't record. But what I discovered is a new way to do canopies. I'm going to show you how to do that. But first we're going to look at these. We have the P40 here, which is an older canopy. It slides over the body. But if you notice, it slides a brick above in the middle. So I think the new canopy that I discovered is going to solve this problem. So I'm going to talk about that later. But we're going to go to the next one. And that's the P38. And it slides in and out really easy. It uses a little bit of the body to cover the windows. We have the F14, which wants fuel. That's why it's beeping. And uh, it pivots upward and pivots downward. And then we have the ME163 that pivots right and pivots left to close again. And we have the P47 and ME262, which both use a sliding canopy. Can I get up there? It uses a sliding canopy to slide along the body. So this one you'll notice there's no canopy showing moving here. But if we look at the, uh, the old 262, I could probably change this. But you'll see that we get a gap here. And that's because I did not lower the slider. So I don't know if I did that because there was no room in here or what, but that can be fixed and I'll show you how. So let's go ahead and get started in the editor on how to build any of these canopies and use my component that's super easy to hook them up. Of course you don't need the component, but it makes it simple just to drag and drop the uh, component on and just hook up the canopy and you're done. So I'm gonna show you how, let's get started. All right, we're in the editor. And so as you see, I have a canopy that I'm gonna show you last because I'm really excited about this canopy. But first we're gonna just do some simple canopy builds. I think I'm gonna build it over here so we have room. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the symmetry tool and I'm going to click the symmetry for X and you'll notice it's way over there. What we can do is hit the show hide move widget and that'll bring this up and we can drag this little guy all the way over here to the center. Looks like I have to go one more over. There we go. And then hide it. And now we can build over here in the center. So if you ever are building something and you happen to move your plane to left or right, you can use that tool to move this plane onto your center point and then build in symmetry mode. All right, so what we're going to do is build in pink because it's easier to see with the lighting and I'm going to go ahead and build a fake plane body on this area here. And uh, what we're going to do is build first, probably the most simple canopy, which is a pivot. And so I'm going to go through here and build the pivot canopy. So let's see, I think we're going to go with the ME163 canopy, which is super easy to build. Okay. So what we're going to find out really quick, I'm going to show you some things that you're going to run into problems with when you're building canopies. First thing you're going to run into is if you're making a low canopy. So if I turn the window this way, it's going to be lower. If I do a canopy with the window sort of like this, you're going to get a big giant canopy, but we don't want that. For planes, we usually want a low profile. So if I do this and let's see how far we can bring it in actually. So yeah, we can bring it in right there. And then the back one, if we want to make it a kind of a bubble top, we can bring it in right there. So I'm going to add this and let's see here. We need narrow windows. Okay. Now let me make this a different color so you can see this. So when you're building a canopy, you have bricks here. I see the blue brick and you can turn your window to be on the outside or the inside. Now, if we put it on the inside over here, we can't do it because of all the red here it says collision detection problems. So what we do is we bring the window out, flip it until we get it on the outside. And now we can slide the window backwards if we wanted to, although we would have problems up here in the top area, or we can just simply move it and pivot it to the right. So I'm gonna show you the pivot first, and then we will go ahead and show you a different way of doing the window. So now we're gonna bring this over here and I'm having trouble. Okay, so there you go. So right now, this window is connected to this pink block here and this pink block here, and this window is on the outside. Okay, that's important. And I'm gonna show you why later, but for this window, it does not matter for this canopy that is. 
And so we're going to go ahead and uh, bring the top window in. And we're going to go ahead and put our top bricks here. Okay. So there we go. We have a canopy, which is very cool. And what we're going to find out is there's going to be an issue. And you're going to be wondering, oh, no, it's broken. But it's not. I'm going to show you why. So we're going to go ahead and make a space here for our pivot. Bring it down like this. And boom. Now we have our canopy. We have our pivot. We can't hook anything up right now because it wouldn't do anything. So what we're going to do is alter this window. But first, I'm going to go ahead and drop that button down right there. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use our selection tool. And we are going to select our windows. OK, first you hit Control on the first window that you want to start with. And then hold Shift and go upwards until you collect all of the canopy. So that is the only part of the canopy that we want. We're going to hit Cut. And then we're going to hit paste right where it's at. OK, so now if we look at the merge tool, this green one is separate. This blue one is our pivot, and it is separate too. So because this is already touching right here, all we have to do is hit our pivot or our window and then click on the pivot. Oops, and the window. There we go. So I merged the pivot and the window. We now have, oh, we have an extra one there because I was building symmetry. Let's get rid of that so we don't get confused cover that up. So now we have the pivot and the window connected. So they are one piece. So if I were to spawn this, you could probably lift it up. It would move around, whatever. So now what we want to do is hook it up to our controls. So we're going to go ahead and hook our battery up to the button, hook our pivot up to the button. And I have another button over there on the side. Ah, symmetry. Okay. And now we have a button, a pivot, all have electricity. So now we bring in our handy dandy, uh, super duper canopy slider. And this, all this really does is it uh, has all the code you need for a switch box and the numbers that you're going to set usually when you're making something slide with the switch box. And it puts it in here and it makes it easy for you to quickly drop it, hook it up first to the pivot, then the button to it. And that is it. And then you come in here and you can see you have a slider on and a slider off and you can adjust those numbers. So what we want to do is we want to look at our pivot. The solid blue arrow is a positive number and it's going to be whatever you want. One, you know, 0 0.45, 0 0.50, whatever. And that's how far it's going to pivot open to the left. The open arrow is a negative number. So if we want it to close, you want to do a negative number like minus one. But in the case of you building it at this angle, zero is always going to be our close. So it doesn't matter which way I turn this pivot, zero is going to be closed because that's how we built the canopy. So what we do is we come over here, and because our positive number is going to be our open, we come over here on the component, or actually the microprocessor, and we put slider on to one. And slider off is set to zero already, so we don't have to do anything with this thing. And so when we click the button, one will open it, and zero will close it. But we're going to run into a problem, and I'm going to show you what it is. All right, let's spawn this. All right, so the cockpit looks really good. So if we look at this thing, we know that the white windows are going to open and pivot to the left. And when I hit the button again, it'll close. So if you look at this cockpit right here, you'll notice it's very smooth. Opens and closes, no problem but we're gonna have an issue with this cockpit and I'm gonna show you why. So we open it, not too bad. We try to close it and oh, it is stuck. So how do we fix that? Well, the trick is very simple and uh, will be somewhat annoying to some people that are trying to make a cockpit that is higher. So what you have to do is you have to select your cockpit, I'm sorry, your seat, and you have to move it down after cutting it by one block. That is it. Paste, glue it back on your plane. All right, so we move the seat down one, and now we're going to open it. We're going to shut it. Now there's no issue, there's no collision problems with the seat. If we go into the seat, it is big enough that you can see. You also have at least, I think you have two rows here to put uh, controls, which is nice. Let me make sure that I'm telling you the truth on that. 
I think you actually get a lot more room when you lower it by one. So if we come over here, yeah, you can put a little bit more cockpit um, uh, dials and gauges here. So that's kind of a nice uh, side effect of moving the cockpit down. Now there are ways that you can move the cockpit back and stuff like that, but it's better to just move it down one block and you can have your cockpit and your controls all work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this into the F-14 cockpit. And that is very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to delete our rotor or our pivot, whatever you like to call it. And we're going to fill in our holes here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and paint up the parts that we want to move just so you can see what I am trying to show you. So I'm going to grab the white and this is going to be the moving part that we want to add. I'm missing a window in here so I guess we could add that really quick. Is it that one? No, it's not. Okay, let's add the window in just for the sake of showing you what it should look like. I think it might be this one. So let's go ahead and do that. Here, yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to add the window in here like that. Okay, so if we look at our merge tool, this is a separate piece. This is connected to the body. So again, we're going to go ahead and use our selection tool. And we're going to go ahead and select that part. Looks like I got everything. I'm going to cut it. We're going to paste it. And then we're going to merge these two together. All right, so now we have a blue cockpit sitting here connected to nothing. It won't move. It won't do anything fancy. So then let's go ahead and make a hole here and uh, get, our, get our pivot. And we'll put it right here. Okay, so now our problem is this. We can't get these to touch unless we come down here, add a block to the pivot, and then we can use our merge tool to touch this one and to touch these. Then, of course, we can leave this block here if we want, or we could come down here and delete it and just fill in the blanks with whatever we want. Okay, so now we need our electricity yet again, and we need to connect our button. No, not our button, our, sorry, our microprocessor to the pivot, and we're good to go. Let's try it. All right, so now there's no collision. It opens all the way up, and that's because this cockpit is connected to the block in front of it and not directly to this one, which would ram into the side. So that's how you get it to open up without the collision. And now what we got is we have a cockpit going straight up in the air. So what we can do to adjust our cockpit is we can go back in here, and we can click this, and we can say we don't want it to go all the way to 1. We want it to go to 0.45. And when we walk over here, we're going to open our cockpit and do it to 45. Now it's kind of fast. So again, we can adjust the cockpit by going to the pivot point now and saying just, just slow that down a little bit. Let's do 0.3. And there you go. So now we have an F14 kind of cockpit where it pivots upward. We can get in here. And we have a view, we have our instrument panel here, and we are good to go. All right, so something I didn't show you from the beginning is how to open and close a canopy from the inside and the outside. So right now we just have this toggle button that is opening and closing the canopy as we press it. But what if you're on the inside? If you're new to Stormworks, you probably do not know about the double-sided button. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this up really quick. We're going to delete that original button, and we have a toggle button two-sided. Now, when you place it down, you might get the red squares. That means you can't place it because there's something blocking it. In this case, it's a seat. So what you can do is turn it around, and then the red, or the, the actual invisible connections, are on the outside of the plane, and you can place it. So what we do is we hook electricity, then we hook our button to our microprocessor, and we are done. So if we spot it, we will now be able to open the canopy from inside the cockpit and outside the cockpit. So watch this. Open, get inside, you have the button right here, close it, and we're good to go. All right, so that's done. We have canopies that can open and close. They can pivot like an F-14. They can pivot like an ME-163. We have 
an awesome canopy right now. So what we're going to do now is change it all around and make it a sliding canopy. So how do we do that? Well, it's not with pivots, but it's going to use the same microprocessor to control it. So let's go ahead and delete the pivot. And now our canopy, if we look, is lonely and not connected to anything. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and we're going to clear this out so we can see. So I'm going to go ahead and back that up all the way to the seat. And what we're going to do is grab our compact linear base and put it down. And we're going to put three tracks down. Okay, so we're pretending this is our plane body. It's all hidden away. And we have this part up here. So the hard part is always trying to connect something <laughs> to a separate part like the windows. So what you always do is you build from your your pivot point or your, in this case, the compact track uh, top portion, which is separate from the bottom. So they make it automatically. When you place this, this is a separate entity. So what you want to do is you want to build off that until you get higher in the plane that you can touch either the window or, in this case, the top brick. So we're going to go ahead, go to our merge tool, and you'll see three different colors. The canopy is separate, the slider is separate, and the plane is separate. So we want to connect our canopy to the slider. <laughs> I always get this backwards. Okay, good, good. Now we have that. Now it looks kind of ugly with that thing sticking up like that. So we can go ahead and delete our little scaffolding all the way down to there. So now we have the slider all by itself in the lonesome, and we have our canopy, but if you look, they're still connected. So that is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and cover this from right there, all the way to the back. And now what you're gonna see is when we hook this up, we're gonna go ahead and hook up our electricity. And we're gonna hook up, our buttons already hooked up, we're gonna hook up our microprocessor to the slider. Now, again, we look at the slider and we say, which is positive? Positive is going outward, which is open, so that's a one. Negative's on the left. And canopies, or I'm sorry, canopies. Sliders go from one and then minus one to go all the way to each end. So in this case, we wanna come in here and we want our on, which is gonna be open, to one. And our close is gonna be minus one. And that's gonna allow it to open and close completely. So let's go ahead and test it. All right, so this canopy is gonna simulate that canopy and that canopy, and to some extent, the P38 as well. So we're gonna go ahead and open it and close it. And again, we could adjust the speed if we wanted to, but the idea is the same. It closes, it opens, and of course, you can go inside and work it there. All right, for the final canopy, I want to show you something I discovered. So I was originally going to show you how I did this one, which was just simply building with inside the windows and sliding it over. But you'll notice we get this big gap. I was curious if I could try to get them to slide over a complete body. And to my surprise, it actually worked. So you cannot build windows on top of here. So let me color that right here. You can't build windows on this yellow portion. If, if you look at this, you can see that the window here is on this block. But this one is kind of interesting. I think this one is actually on the outside block, but I'm not positive. I'm, it's very curious how this is working. Maybe it's on this block, but in the past, you could not slide this back. So for some reason, this is working. Don't know if it's a glitch or if it's a feature, but it seems to be working and it's awesome. So that's really exciting. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. I was over here at this canopy and we're just gonna turn this one into that one. So right now, if we look, let's go back over here, show you. This one is a sliding canopy, okay? So all we're gonna do now is in order to make this canopy slide like that one over there, is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna delete our window and we're gonna build, and I'm gonna build it in a different color just so we can see it. I'm gonna build our square blocks, and then right there, I'm gonna build, and we'll just bring this out a little bit here, and a little bit there. And we're gonna use our wedges to make it aerodynamic. 
and now it's very smooth and the wind will just flow right over there. But what problem we have now is these windows are going to crash into it and not work at all. These outer windows will slide fine. The inner windows, not so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this and we're going to see how we can change or turn it. Actually, let me grab one of these before I do it. So what we want to do is go ahead and put the window part back on. Right now, it's going to slam into that wall. Not going to work. So we're going to not do it that way. We're going to go K and L. And now, if we look, it's on the outside of these bricks. Okay. We go to the other side. Do the same thing here, which is connect it right harder than it looks. Okay, so we don't want it there. It's going to slam into the wall. Hit K and L until we get the outer side. And now we have it on the outer side. Okay, cool. So that is great. No problem. So we're going to take this uh, center part here. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip it. And we're going to put it like that. No. And why is that? Because it's going to ram right into the yellow again. Okay, this is going to be harder. So what we're going to do is we're going to cheat here. We're going to put a block. And then we're going to grab one of these up here. And we're going to use the block to put it in our position that we want, which is on top of the yellow, but on the bottom of this brick. If that makes any sense. Then we'll go ahead and delete this. And then I think, I don't know if I can just go ahead and connect it. Probably not. But we're going to go ahead and use our selection tool to select these windows we just added. We're going to cut them and paste them. And then now we have, okay, these are connected, so that's good. So all we need to do is connect these to these. So that is the problem again. So the easiest way to do it, take a giant block and paste them until you can get them to touch. All right, so there we go. So green to blue, boom, all right. And now we can delete that. And now we have our slider, so this should work. Okay, so we're going to test this canopy. If it opens, it should slide over this body. And if it doesn't work, this is going to be so embarrassing. So let's try it. One, two, three. Ah, it works. So this is a big deal. If you look, this canopy is directly over the body of the plane. That is amazing. I'm so glad that I did this tutorial because we figured out something new together. And if you look, this old plane here, the canopy is open. Like the bugs are going to fly in there. But uh, with this new canopy, it is going to look great. So hopefully this helped you. I tried to show you all the different ways to use the microprocessor to make the pivot canopy, the sliding canopy, and now the awesome sliding canopy. And hopefully that helps you build some great planes too. Uh, please let me know what you think about these tutorials. If you like the format, if I am too rambly when I'm doing these tutorials, I know that I am kind of learning as I go how I did things because I forget because I make so many planes. So sometimes the tutorials get a little bit, um, <laughs> a little bit of trial and error sometimes. But if you enjoy the tutorials and they're helping you, let me know. If I need to change and really edit these down to how-tos step-by-step, let me know as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to go jump in this plane over here, the ME262, and fly away. Goodbye! Not going anywhere. All right, today we're going to be looking at canopies, and then I'm going to show you how to make a using my super easy component. You don't have to use my easy super duper. <laughs> and it's super easy using my component. Uh, I don't want to run yet.